Hey guys, before this video begins, I just want to give a personal shout out to my friend Clay Bowen. He was in my Spanish class this year and he made a freaking awesome video. It is called the Mall Challenge 2.0. I am actually in it and you guys can see me act a fool. And uh, if you guys want to go and check that out, give him some support, maybe subscribe to his channel. He does a lot of freaking awesome edited videos. Definitely go check him out. He's underrated, has so many good videos and he spends a lot of time making each one. So if you guys want to see me, be a scrub, definitely go and check out the description below for his video, or you can check out my featured channels page, he is in there as well. And the title is called Mall Challenge 2.0, definitely go take a look at it, it would be worth your time. Plus, I'm in there, so if you don't know what I look like, now is your chance. Alright guys, enjoy this video. Well guys, after two long, hard, horrible semesters. I have now been released from my horrible prison of school. Yes, guys, I am now officially out for the summer. Videos will now be normally uploaded, hopefully one on Wednesday, one on Saturday, and who knows if we might get even more than that. You never know. Now, because of school getting out, I have a compilation of stories. A little bit from this semester, other semesters, you know, different years. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into these funny school stories. Now this first story actually did occur in ninth grade. I was with a friend group, probably not a very good friend group. I did eventually get a new friend group after this experience because there's quite a few experiences that uh, are sort of like this that I just didn't want to get myself into. So I did get a new friend group, but that's kind of irrelevant to the story. But anyway, yes, yeah, so I was with this friend group and my school has a lot of kids. Now we have about three campuses and the section of the campus that I go to is actually really small. Because uh, my school is kind of like where all the smart kids go, so there's only about 300 of us compared to a little under 1,000 at other campuses. And the reason why we have just so few people is because we actually are in a program that uh, essentially makes it so you can get two years of free college if you're eligible enough in high school. So that's what I'm currently doing. I just finished my first semester or my first year of free college this um, this school year, so that was really cool. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting off track. So anyway, we have a lot of campuses. I go to the one with where all the smart kids go, and the thing about each campus is that they have their own printing network. There's like one master network that kind of connects all the campuses together, and uh, basically every computer can print to any printer in any campus. So this is kind of like a disaster on itself. Uh, so this guy actually did hatch a plan. So he got a bunch of uh, rather sketchy pictures from the internet and then printed them to the campus about 10 miles down the road. And I'm not entirely sure how he was able to pull this off considering you kind of have to have like a staff login to be able to do that. So I'm not entirely sure how he was able to do that. But he did do this. He printed a bunch of uh, bunch of things and then they uh, sent down all the way to another campus. So 10 miles later there's a uh, printer that's just spooning out a bunch of really sketchy things, and it's all because of this one kid at my campus. Now, what he didn't know is that they actually track the prints to the account that they were printed on. So, stupidly, he used his own school account to do this. And I'm not entirely sure if he ever got in trouble for this. I'm kind of like, yeah, you probably did. You're, you're pretty stupid, honestly, dude. You're... You're so dumb, I can't believe you'd do that. But I was just like, why though? Why Why would you do that? But yeah, that was the first story, and I was just kind of like dumbfounded about why you would even do that. I'm just like, bro, come on. Now this next story did actually happen this year. It actually happened about three weeks ago from this video being uploaded. Now it was in my music appreciation class. So this was a college class that I took this semester. And the teacher was just really really bad she was like the most boring teacher i've ever had didn't know what she was doing didn't teach very well and just uh, so much annoying stuff about her but uh anyway no one really liked this class and about five people actually dropped it and about six people never showed up again so it was like okay yeah there's obviously something wrong here so we had to uh turn in a paper now there was this kid that forgot to print it out because we had to turn it in online but also bring a copy to class. So everyone had our copies out and he saw that we had our copies out and he's like, oh crap, dude, I forgot. I need to go print out my paper. And so he leaves and as soon as he gets up, he went to the computer lab to print it out. And as soon as he left, a girl came in late. So my professor told her to basically take the seat of the kid that left. So she goes and steals his seat and she did that, my professor did that so that the girl could like copy the notes of another kid sitting next to her. So um, when he came back, he was like really mad about how she took his spot. And my professor's like, oh, well, 
sorry, you got demoted. You're going to have to go sit at the back of the class. And he's just like, <laughs> sits there. He's just like really mad. He just stands there, looks her in the eye, and he legit just flips her off. Like, full middle finger, he just flips her off. And the entire class just looks at him in shock. And we're just like, you what? How, what? No one actually said anything, but we're all just like, oh my. Did you see what that boy just did? Oh my gosh, he just stood up to the teacher in a very disrespectful way. I cannot believe what my eyes just did. No, but yes, that was it's, it's quite disrespectful. But the professor literally does nothing. She has no idea what's happening. She just looks at him and she's like, "Wait, was that your real finger?" And we're all just like, "Wait, she's kidding, right? Is she actually wait, wait?" You gotta be, you know, oh my goodness. She legit asks him if it's his real finger that he just used to flip her off. And we're all just like, oh my gosh, this is a re this, this is why you're teaching music. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this is music class, guys. This is, stuff like this honestly happens so much because no one liked this professor. And we're all just like, trying to struggle through and get this class done. Now, guys, this was the last story. It is a embarrassing one from my sixth grade year. Now, all my life I had been homeschooled, and that was until I was in sixth grade. Now, I actually did join school, and I was still kind of in that homeschool mood. Like, my brain was all homeschool geared. And uh, it was all right, though, because my very first teacher was super nice. Like, she was such a cool teacher. And she was just super amazing, super kind, very caring. And she's actually the principal of the program now, so I'm really, really happy about that. She's just super kind. And uh, so I was like, okay, well, congratulations on you. But anyway, she was my favorite teacher ever. And one day we were actually working on a worksheet together. So we were all like working on like some grammar worksheet, I think it was. And I was really struggling because like I'm, I'm just a sixth grade kid. I mean, grammar and writing is my strong suit, but it's like, oh my gosh, I don't feel like doing this right now. I can't do this. And so we were all struggling and I was like, okay, well, I need to ask her help. And so I'm just like, raise my hand. I'm like, excuse me, mom. I mean, oh, oh no, 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 please don't hear me. I legit just called my teacher mom and the entire class just stares at me. And they're all just like, bruh, is this kid stupid? I'm pretty sure he's stupid. He, he, he just called, he just called her mom. <laughs> Let's make fun of him now. No, no one actually did make fun of me, but it was so embarrassing. Everyone just looks at me and they're like, did you just call her mom? Because I mean, my, t my mom was my teacher for like all my life. And this was the first year that I didn't have my mom as my teacher. So I was like asking my mom if she could help. And obviously my brain didn't think that through. And I just called my sixth grade teacher mom, but you know, that's, that's to be expected. And she was actually a really good sport. She came and helped me and everything and didn't really laugh or anything. So it was, that was good. But yeah, it was just like so embarrassing. As soon as I said that, everyone just like, they're all like, well, looks like it's time to judge guys. Yep. Yep. Let's judge them. But anyway, guys, I hope that you guys did enjoy these funny school stories. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. If we get 30 more likes, guys, I will make a third part. Now, there's some really good stories for the third part. So if you guys want to see more, definitely get it to 30 likes. And I will see you guys in a brand new video. Don't forget to check out Clay's video as well. He worked very hard on that. But anyway, guys, I'll see you in another video. See you guys.